hair metal is not even a term I like all that much. It seems like people use it to be derogatory, but uh, it's the best descriptor for a lot of the music that was big on the charts between like 1986 and 1991, uh, into 92 and even a little bit of 93. But, uh, I love that era of music and have nothing but respect for so many, uh, musicians and artists and bands from that era. Uh, so although a lot of people know a ton of great big hits from that era, uh, I think there's a lot of music from that era that most people have forgot about. Uh, so today I'm going to just share five, uh, hair metal songs that I think are fantastic that most people have probably forgot about from some pretty big names. Uh, the first one is probably, uh, the lesser known group of everybody that I'm going to share today. And it's uh, the band LA guns who again, absolutely great group and, and a bunch of great rock and songs. But I feel like most people have even forgot what I think was their biggest hit, uh, which is the ballad of Jane. Now, Again, in that era, there were so many uh, incredibly talented bands and there was a really, really heavy amount of what became known as like the power ballad uh, where you know, almost every band like that had to have a ballad on their record. But uh, of all the ones people remember, like uh, you know, uh, Every Rose Has a Thorn and, and uh, 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 More Than Words and all those type of big, huge ballads, I don't ever hear anybody talking about The Ballad of Jane by L.A. Guns, which I think is as good or better uh, than all of the rest of the songs. So if you like I Remember You and those type of uh, uh, hair metal ballads, check out uh, The Ballad of Jane from L.A. Guns and see if you remember it. Uh, another one, and I feel like this band is probably in the same uh, category of a band as a whole that a lot of people may have forgotten about, which is a shame, uh, a band called Firehouse and the song All She Wrote, which, again, now what's funny is if people remember Firehouse, they probably remember them for their ballad, uh, Love of a Lifetime, which is fine. It's a great song, but they had some really hard rocking cuts, like uh, they had a non-single called Shake and Tumble that just is a rocking song, uh, but they had a, a great rocking uh much more upbeat song than love of a lifetime called all she wrote that hopefully if you go find it after this video as soon as it starts you'll go oh i would totally remember that song uh but nobody ever talks about it anymore uh, another one is a band that i don't think had exactly the same image as a lot of the other hair metal folks and for one reason or another they really got pigeonholed as a uh, a lot of people thought they were trying to be uh, too much like van halen and or led zeppelin and that's the bullet boys and the Bullet Boys had, at the time, an enormous hit with a song called Smooth Up In You that you never hear anybody talk about anymore. And again, I think it's really, really got a great groove to it. Um, fantastic vocals from Mark Terrain, of course. And uh, they didn't really have any much more success other than that one song, which was enormous at the time, but you never hear anybody talk about it anymore. Now we're going to get into two bands that I think are... Uh, it's some of the biggest bands of that time and a couple of songs from them that I don't think many people will remember. Uh, one of which is Cinderella. Now, I love the band Cinderella. I think a lot of people remember more than a few songs from them. I would say most people remember at least their ballads. Uh, no, uh, Nobody's Fool and Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone. But they have uh, some really great rocking songs that I don't, people, I don't think people remember. And I had a hard time narrowing this down. I was like, you know, which one should I pick that people should remember from Cinderella? Uh, but I went with Coming Home, which is uh, almost a country rock song, uh, which a lot of Cinderella music had a country flair to it. But uh, it's just a fantastic 12-string uh, jam uh, at the start that really kicks into a harder rock song later. Uh, some great lyrics and, of course, a wonderful vocal performance from Tom Kiefer. But uh, it's one of those songs that, again, was big at the time. And I just it's fallen by the wayside. And if somebody does bring up Cinderella, you never hear it mentioned. Uh, the last one, I think, would be some of the uh, kings of their hair metal era. And if you do hear people mention this band, I think most often than not, they mention Every Rose Has Its Thorn or uh, Talk Dirty to Me or Nothing But a Good Time. Uh, but Fallen Angel from Poison, I it, I think it's some of the best lyrics they had of of the at least of the first two albums, uh, and really kind of like a um, reflective look at the scene that was happening around them at the time, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Like all the people who were probably running out to Hollywood to uh, chase what they were seeing on MTV, uh, and everything across the board about it. It's just I think it's a gr as good or better song than what they had for their big hits. At the time, and again, if Poison comes up, 
I think you hear two or three songs mentioned, but this is just like Cinderella where I had a hard time narrowing down, like, you know, which poison song I was going to share as one that people forgot. So there's a lot more than just that. So uh, with these videos, we always say like, Hey, make sure to use the comment section. Let me know. Uh, maybe you remember all these songs and, and to you, you know, these are not hidden gems or forgotten songs, uh, but share with me some other ones that you think that more people should remember or songs that were big hits and seemingly everybody else has forgot about. Uh, drop that in the comments below. If you would uh, like and share this, please, if you would share it out on your social medias, helps more people find the channel. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.